channel. So today has been a very eventful day for us. Well, for me. So, a little backstory. When I was younger, I had a cavity filled in one of my molars in the very back here on my left bottom side. And probably the last three years, I've been having some problems with this tooth. It's just been extremely sensitive to certain like temperatures. Um, every once in a while, if I eat something, sometimes it bothers me. And so my dentist has been keeping an eye on it. And Friday evening, when Scott and I were out to dinner for our anniversary, I was eating something and when I came down to chew it, it shot the most awful feeling down through my tooth that it made me sick. So, I ended up having an emergency visit today to the dentist to find out that that tooth that had one of those silver fillings in it had a crack. So the inside of my tooth that's closest to your tongue along the side, I ended up cracking it. So I had to have an emergency procedure done today. Thankfully, that was done at 1130. Uh, the Novocaine has wore off. It did last about six hours, um, but that has wore off. But anyway, I had to get a crown put on my tooth. It is just a temporary crown for right now. Basically what they had to do was they had to numb my whole, basically my whole face all the way up to my ear. I couldn't even feel my ear all the way down to my chin, my whole tongue. My tongue literally felt like it was that swollen. Um, Braylon kept laughing at me when I was talking. I could barely talk, I'm drooling. Anyway, they basically grind down my tooth to just a little nub and they put a crown over top, which is like a fake looking tooth that they seal onto the nub of your tooth. So I have that on right now for three weeks and they did an impression to make me a permanent uh, crown that I'm gonna have to now have forever. And really annoying, it's not fitting correctly. So when I bite down, it's, um, it doesn't like touch completely. So that's really bothersome to me right now. But I'm gonna have to deal with this for three weeks and then go back in to get my permanent crown. Thankfully, it's in my back tooth. So that makes me feel a lot better. So things could be worse. Uh, a lot of people probably won't even know that I have it because it is way back there. But anyway, so eventful day today. So we are headed to Braylon soccer practice. I'm gonna drop her off at practice and then we will see you after practice. All right, we are done Braylon's practice. As you can tell, she is hot, sweaty, messy hair. It has been about 85 degrees here the past couple days. Um, so beautiful weather, but it is hot when you're practicing. So for a little treat, we are gonna stop and get some ice cream. And I guess we're gonna see how well this crown is gonna do on my tooth with cold ice cream. Hopefully I don't have any problems. And then we are gonna go home. We are gonna do your biggest requested video that we keep getting. I can't even tell you how many comments and requests that we keep getting about this, but Braylon is going to share with you guys her fidget collection that I know you guys are so excited to see. So we are gonna do that. Um, but first we are gonna go over here and get some ice cream. Braylon had to take a shower. She was so hot and sweaty. So she is wet hair, comfy clothes. But anyway, we are going to show you guys Braylon's fidget collection that you guys have been dying to see. And we actually just bought a brand new, yes, this whole entire thing is filled with fidgets. But we just bought a brand new basket from Target. And, um, so we're just gonna get started. Let's um, pop it first. Yeah, let's start with your poppets first. So I have this unicorn one. This 
So she's got this pretty unicorn one. We just got this one in our last video. We found this one at Second and Charles. And we got this one. It is a crab. And we got this one randomly. We were visiting um, a small little town here close to us. And we just went into like a little gift shop. And they had this little crab one. And I'm from Maryland. And Maryland is known for their crabs. So it just... It's just so cute and it was perfect. I apologize, so many people commented about this. We just found this on our last video at Claire's and I accidentally said hexagon, but it is an octagon, so I apologize. I thought it only had six sides, but it has eight sides. So yes, I do know that an octagon has eight sides. I told Braylon wrong and I am gonna take full responsibility of that, but yes, I do know the difference between a six-sided and eight-sided object i just literally thought that it only had six sides so anyway so that one came from claire's I got this poppet from learning express and it's just a square and it's a rainbow yes and we did post our learning express video as well we it's it not super good you don't like that one as no. much okay doesn't have much of a pop now, and then target yeah these are all the poppets at target so and we got these on three different trips. And this is Braylon's very first poppet. Yes. And we got this a long time ago before we started um, recording our fidget videos. So this was her very first poppet from Target. And this one is my all time favorite. And we just randomly found this at Target the other day while we were out grocery shopping. No, I knew about it, but I wasn't. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, it. we randomly, we weren't looking for fidgets. Yeah, we just we randomly, just randomly found, found this one day when we were out there um, shopping target um just a couple random things so we did find out that this is called a snake uh we've been looking up online you can turn this into so many different things animals and we found this at party city, party city in our shopping at eight different stores video and it's blue and white and it's really neat so i like that one um, another thing that we have here is the star Rubik's cube and a lot of people have told us that you can actually turn this into a infinity cube if we had two of them but we only have the one we are on the hunt for another one so we can do that um, I like this but one. yeah that one's that's pretty cool isn't it yeah I like how you can like flip that all around and all right, so this is from our Learning Express video. This is a Nido, what is this called? Shaggy Nido. A Nido, a Shaggy Nido. So yeah, we have we'll one of these. Off, I'll just get out all my Nidos. Yeah, so we have a Shaggy Nido. Cool Cat Nido and a Color Changing Nido. And um, the Cool Cat and the Shaggy Nido both came from Learning Express. This and the Color from Changing American came Eagle. from American Eagle, the clothing store. They actually had them at the checkout counter. So that was pretty neat. Oh wait, this um, is a Nido. That's yeah, a Nido this is a Nido too. Um, this Snowball. is Snowball. And we got this at Learning Express and this is one of my favorites. I just really love this. I love the sound that it makes. It, it sounds like you're walking in snow, like right. that crunching sound. So I like that. Okay, so I have these three massive dough balls. Yeah. So this one we just got in our last video. We got this one from Second and Charles. It is a galaxy ball and it is so pretty and I love this. It's a, it feels so good. I love it. And then we have this color changing one. It's not Nido brand. We just found it at Cracker Barrel on our six different, eight different shopping, eight, eight different, different stores. Yes. And that's and that that's one. color changing and this one we got at that town place that we were talking about that we got the crab pop it then we have this horse one this kind of reminds me of yeah, the look, cat nido it literally it literally looks thing. so much alike this one's better though yeah but show like, the difference between side by side they look so much alike um I but like this, this one, one we this got one, like, at books a million yeah. which is in our shopping eight different uh stores and he's so cute it's a little horse and mm -hmm. it reminds me a lot of the neato cat and this that one is a glow in the dark um dough ball and we got this at the same shop as this one 
Oh yeah, another, yeah, we did get all three of those at that toy shop that we just, well, it wasn't even a toy shop, it was a, um, just a random shop. Yeah, a random shop. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the things that I really like. This is a Orby, I love Orby filled things. So this is a little Orbeez filled, if you can see in there, it has little Orbeez. And this is a unicorn, and we got this thing at um, Cracker Barrel. And here's another Orbeez filled and it's the hawk and i don't know he's just so cute we just got him in our last video from second and charles and they had all sorts of different characters i really like that we have a mermaid tail we have a mermaid tail with orbeez and this came from our learning express trip and another orbeez fill this is a little orange and she's getting them all out for me because these are my favorite fidgets. I love anything Orbeez filled. And we also got this at Learning Express. This Globby. Yes. And this came from... Um, five Below. Five Below. And it has Orbeez inside of it. And did we put this on a video or did we just randomly find it? Oh, we just found it. We just randomly found that. That's it. Okay, I'll do all of my monkey noodles. I got these ones from Learning Express and they're like matte. They're not like clear. Right, and they're neon colored. Yeah. And we got this from the Learning Express. And those were your first set. Yeah, these are my first yeah. set. So that's these. And then I got these clear like glitter ones. Yeah, they have a little glitter. And they're thicker. For Easter. And I think they're shorter, right? Yeah, they're a little kind. They're a little shorter, but they're thicker, yeah. and they're more of a clear. And I got these ones for Easter on Amazon. Yes, and these are thinner and brighter yeah. and longer, but they're all monkey noodles. So there's those. So we got um, a ton of mochis, as you can see. I have a ton of them here. Braylon has a ton of them. We randomly, these come from all different places. We got some from Cracker Barrel, some from Learning Express, some from Big Lots. Uh, where are some other ones that you've gotten mochis from? I think my favorite of all the mochis that are in here is this little watermelon. Um, which one would yours be? Oh, and the pineapple, I love the pineapple. Oh, the little dinosaur. My other all-time favorite, so the Orbeez is my favorite. And my other all-time favorite are any of the stretchy, um, stretchy whatever. So this is a stretchy bunny, and I love the stretchy bunny. These both came from the Easter collection at Walmart, and we did videotape that. That's in our fidget haul video. We got a stretchy banana. I got that at an arcade. This Braylon got it at arcade, and again, this was way before we even started doing fidget videos. Thank so you. she's had this for a long time, but I love Stretchy Banana, and my well, favorite. Well, I, I didn't even get this when I knew about fidgets. I just had it, because yeah, a lot just, of people had yeah, it. Yeah, you just thought it was fun. And then oh my gosh, this is not fun. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ready? <laughs> this is my look favorite how, how one. Oh, Aww, be nice to little Aww. piggy. Aw, I love Stretchy Pig. He came from Cracker Books A Million. Yeah, and I love him, he's just so cute. Anyway, I love all the stretchy ones. So that's those. Here are glitter stress balls. So there's this water one. <laughs> this was from the, the panda, I just took the ball out because. Yeah, the panda that when you squeeze it, it's like whoop, whoop, like it comes out, like it looks like it's getting sick. And I yeah. took it out because. Yeah. And then this like, what do you call this? I don't even know what this is. I just found it at Books A Million. It just has like little spikies on it. It's, I kind of like it now. Yeah, Braylon didn't like it at first, but it's got glitter in it. And it's just like air filled and you just kind of squeeze it and it's fine. It's whatever. Oh my gosh, the massive water snake. Okay, this is already deflating. I know, I don't understand. We found that at Five Below in our eight different store shopping. Look, it's, it's deflated. Okay, yeah. ready? But you have another water snake. No. It deflated when I threw it away. Oh, that one deflated too. Oh, I wonder why they deflate so much. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Look at this. Are they ready? Anyone? Here is Braylon's very first ever fidget before that we I even hate. knew anything about fidgets. She does have this puzzle ball. 
and I know it's okay. You can have your favorites and your least favorite. So we have a dimple. Um, yeah, a five dimple. And this is um, something that I got for Braylon on the um, surprising her with the Amazon packages. This was the one that didn't come in in time for us opening everything. And so I got this off of Amazon and it's just the five dimple. I got this off of Amazon from when I did the Easter shopping online. From yes. my money. Yes. And it's just uh, And we're still waiting for one my thing. other dimple. Yeah. So we've we've had a lot of questions about when are we going to videotape us um, opening all the Amazon things. We still are waiting for one thing. So she already opened this. So this is one of the things she got off of the Amazon shopping. And you have a simple dimple. That came from Learning The Express. Learning Express video, yes. So that's those. Uh, one more thing that we got from Learning Express is... Pop two! No. We only have two of these in our last video. We showed you that we found two of them at Ollie's and somebody messed them up and we were so sad we couldn't buy them. They were only 49 cents, but we have two pop tubes. <laughs> Had to wake Braylon up. She is so exhausted from so much soccer recently. Ow! That hurt my ear! <laughs> Alright, there's those. Alright, so all of your thinking putty. Right? I do have more than what I thought. You must have been collecting this I didn't even realize. Alright, so these three came from Lakeshore Learning. This one came from Books A Million. Books A Million. And then this one came randomly. We just found this one time when we were out shopping. And then the last one that she just got, the really big on our last video, she left it in the car. Shh. Alright. <laughs> it's not. All right, I'm going to pick the next ones. All right, Braylon's going to enjoy this. We will play with these together when I bring these out. We um, have our tangles. We uh -huh. have one, two, three, four, five tangles. This one, the really big one, we got from Learning Express. These three from our very first widget video from Dollar General. Yeah. Yes, we got all and three I got of those. This one from Cracker Barrel in our video. Yes, Cracker Barrel. That's right. Right. I'm not really sure what this thing's called. What did we say it was called? Um, Guy. Um, I don't remember what this thing's called. We found it at Lakeshore Learning, yeah. and we had never seen one of these before, but it looked really cool, so we picked it up and found out that it actually is a pretty popular um whoops a pretty popular fidget um and it's really neat and this is actually probably one of my favorites i like playing with this but i don't remember what the name of it is i have to look that up what else do you have in there my dna ball oh the dna ball so this is really deflated it's deflating no it's not where did you we get that from this from it came like this. Okay. And it was in your Easter video. That was in her Easter basket. And I actually found it at Target. I was randomly shopping one day. And I was like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to go by here. They have like little baskets, like a corner basket area there in Target. And I was just walking by and it was just randomly laying there. There was no other ones there but that. And I was like, oh my gosh, we've been looking for this DNA ball for weeks. And I got so lucky and I found it and I put it in her Easter basket. So let's see here. We have an infinity cube. Whoop. And sorry, she doesn't know how to play with it. Sorry. <laughs> that came from Amazon, from your Amazon shopping video, right? Yep. And it's really pretty. I love the colors of that one. I'm glad you picked out that one. That one's really, really, really pretty. Um, we have a wacky track. Wacky Track. We found that at Lakeshore Learning. And I like Wacky Tracks. I like doing this and then he... That's so satisfying. That is. So satisfying. Okay, so we have the water timers. And we got these from Lakeshore Learning. And it came with five, but I shared some with my friend. 
because there's only one package left and they were really expensive they were pretty expensive this is probably our most expensive fidget that we've yeah. ever found the five pack water timers uh, but i would say they are okay so we have a splat ball yes is that the only splat ball you have i used to have a pig in it oh Aww. yeah that's right it popped so this is the a soccer... first day i played with it that's right i remember so it's a soccer ball and you got this from cracker barrel yeah yes so fun and we oh yeah, the pig one we had in our very first fidget video yeah. and we showed it and then shortly after that it popped oh. and so some of these you have to be really careful with. Um, my oh, marble and mesh. Can I have one? Yeah. Marble and mesh. Yes, we were so excited to find these. At Life Show Learning. I mean, like, no. No. Learning Express. Learning Express, yes. Look at them, so makes I know. These are actually a really, really cheap fidget. And for those of you that have commented about not having any fidget stores close by or whatever, these are a really easy thing to make. If you have a marble and then any type of material that you can use, and if you know how to sew or your mom or your grandmother or something or like that um, knows how to sew, or yeah, maybe you could use like some tape or whatever. Um, but these are really easy fidgets that you can make as a DIY and they're fun they're easy and we got these at learning express um they come individually but we just bought um three of them so they were only like 50 cents yeah they were really cheap so um this little guy that oh, i love this i take it everywhere she does and he came from books a million yeah and inside of it is like um i think it's cornstarch cornstarch yeah I'm like flower i don't know and, but his face is starting to wear off so sad his eyeballs are coming off but it's fine here are some monsters that we got at target these are just kind of like a neato ball um but that they're little my least favorite like do you feel how feel this one yeah and then feel that one but they're so they're still fun to play with um they're like shaving cream filled but they're all different little monsters from target and you can't get these anymore we found them in like the dollar bins when you first come into target yeah and they went so quickly and they've never restocked them but we have four of these little monster guys oh yeah this is kind of like a monkey noodle yeah it's super stretchy and it's a caterpillar yeah and you got that one at learning express and does it still smell a little it's scented i actually like this one yeah i just like that you can just twist him and pull him and just like you do the monkey noodles i don't know okay Ooh. snappers so i did get this one in my latest i mean not my latest i did get this in um your amazon shopping amazon shopping i got scammed that's the actual real brand I if you can see how tiny brand. this one is it's very um let me see if you can show them like up close if you can tell the difference in size it's very very tiny it's very thin it's not very thick um and it's very cheap so, feeling material basically so i'm gonna push them at the same time not the same time but the same like pressures and then this is this one You have to like, really get it. And I kept calling this a snap it. And I know a lot of people commented about that. And I apologize. It is a snapper. Braylon did correct me. We got this one at Books A Million. They had all sorts of different colors to choose from. Braylon's favorite color is blue. For some of you that have asked that question. So she got the blue one. And this one came from Amazon. So that's that. Here is, we're not really sure what this is. It was called, called a fidget you. A fidget you. And we found this at target target and it's we just didn't like film little, that we just found it yeah this is just another random find that we didn't put in our videos but here's just like a little thing that's that on um, this puzzle that is hard yeah uh, we got a lot of hate comments on me opening up this and Braylon getting upset because I messed it up so this is why she was upset as you see it is still completely messed up we cannot figure out how to get it back together and she just wanted to keep it nice and all the all the colors the same 
um, and just kind of like twist it and turn it. Still play with it as a fidget and twist it and turn it, but not get it so messed up that it was totally impossible to put back together. And I feel really bad that I did this because I wasn't even paying attention and realizing what I was doing. Um, but every day we keep trying to put it back together and we can't figure it out. But we got this at Party City. Um, so I feel really bad. I might even go buy her another one that way she has one because we can't figure it out. Oh, your ASMR bar that we got from, uh, where did we find that at? Walmart. Yeah. I did get some more. I got this one that I wanted and I got this one, which I also wanted. But the rest that we got on my first fidget video. Honey. Yeah. We have the classic original fidget spinners. We have so many, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I can do all these um, tricks. This one's my favorite. It has little pineapples on it. And this one has little emojis. Okay, ready? And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think the puzzle ball was your very first fidget. I think your fidget spinner was, right? No, but these aren't really fidgets. Well, they're called fidget spinners. These are kind of like fidgets. These that the... was my first fidget. Was this your very first yep. fidget? The magnets. Yep. All right, there we go. The very first fidget was the magnets. And that was probably how many years ago? Like seven fish games. I love doing this, Eddie. All right, so there's three fidgets that she's missing right now. The one is her big container of putty that we think is out in the car and she took two of her fidgets to school with her and she left them in her desk and that is her bike chains and her pee popper so we apologize about that um but everything else that she has today like up to date as of today is everything that we showed you except for those three things so right there's nothing else that you are missing um other than all of your little yeah all of these. Well, that's pretty cool sounding. Sounds like a duck. Yeah. And it's crazy to sit here and think that she still doesn't have every fidget that's out there that she can I have. I the um, simple digit. The digit. Simple yeah. Digit. So what is your favorite? Every single thing that's sitting here right now, what is your all-time favorite fidget? Pop it and simple dimples. Your pop it and simple dimples. That is a question we get a lot of. So there you go. Her favorites are pop it and simple dimples. And I've said it a hundred times. You guys know what my favorite is. I don't have to say it again. I'll say it again. I love any of the stretchy and any of the Orbeez filled. My top two favorites. All right. So we are going to wrap up this video. We are going to do our shout out. Okay, ready. And we always do our shout outs based off of the last video that we posted. Continue to keep commenting because you may be lucky and get a shout out done to you. All right, so our first shout out is gonna go to Fidget Lover. And Fidget Lover says, you guys should do vid of where Bray Bray stores her fidget. So there you go. That's basically what we just did on this. She stores them right here in this big old bin that stays in her playroom, in her bedroom, in our living room, in our kitchen, dining room, wherever she lugs this bin around to is exactly where her fidgets stay. So thank you for commenting. Thank you for watching. Our second shout out is going to go to Puppy Lover Plays. And she says, you are so fun to watch. I love your channel and you guys make my day better. Thank you for posting for us viewers. And uh, thank you for watching. This is also another one of somebody commenting about um, how much they love watching our channel and it makes them feel so much better for the day. And we hear that a lot. And it just, we've said it before, but it continues to make us so happy to hear that we can make somebody else happy put a smile on their face when they're having a bad day and our third shout out is gonna go to Braylon is gonna pick the third one the next person is Olivia Bondi apologize if we pronounce your last name wrong 
hi she said hi you are the best i love your channel i have a question do you have a schedule on what days you post also please shout out me all right so we don't have an actual schedule per se but we do post three days a week i do try to post monday wednesdays and fridays uh, but it also depends on our schedule with soccer, uh, different things that we're planning on recording. But we will always post three days a week. And this week kind of got a little messed up. So I ended up posting on Tuesday. Thursday is when you guys should be watching this video. Um, and again, it's usually Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. But this week it's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So it just depends, but always um, three days a week. So again, thank you so much for the comment. Thank you for watching. And we are gonna clean up all these fidgets and head off to bed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Keep a smile on your face. Peace.